until we separate looters from hardworking Nigerians, the next generation of youth will think that looting is a career. Buhari speaks. And I'm here asking myself, is he not supposed to be talking to his people? Hmm. The news in detail. Former President Muhammad Buhari has emphasized the importance of distinguishing between looters and hardworking Nigerians. Warning that failure to do so could lead to future generations believing that looting is an acceptable career path. In a recent statement, Buhari noted that a distinction is crucial to shaping the values and aspiration of the youth. In his words, and I quote, Until we separate looters from hardworking Nigerians, the next generation of youth will think that looting is a career. Now listen to this. Look at who he's talking. So what happened... What happened under a regime was monumental hard work in Abi. All your men were looting for free and what did you do? And you are more rich than you were in 2014. My dear, that is what I'm saying. See, what's what in this man they try to talk? What's in this man they try to talk? <laughs> okay. You have ruled this country for a good eight years. You did. You did not separate the looters from the hard workers. Now that you're out of government, if you don't have anything to tell us, Better stay cool and eat your own looted real. Because this man not even supposed to come as I can't breathe. I did tell you. This man supposed to be hidden under the caves because of the kind of thing we do us Nigerians. If you remember vividly, there was a particular accountant general who the man, even when he age passed, the man was still there. If you hear the amount of this man loot. Nothing was heard whether they recovered the money from him or whether he was allowed to go with the money. Or, but I can assure you that that man, they don't collect the money from him. Somebody like Buhari no even supposed to come as I can't talk. Even if he can talk, he's supposed to ignore him. Nobody's supposed to put ear down when they put or make media carry him. We they promote rubbish inside this country. Oh. Why did you not separate them when you were Nigerian president? Please ignore this man. Under him, many cabinet members looted their ministry while he was busy chasing, ranching, and grazing roots, thereby encouraging his herder to destroy, destroy other people's crops. He is now talking about looting. Hadi Sirika, humanitarian minister, former counter general, ETC, they all looted under Buhari. Salary of November 2020 of some federal workers are doubly paid because Buhari account and general made away with the money. Do you get? And you're coming out now to tell us eh, that Lita should be separated from hard work in the meaning what? Imagine Buhari, the most corrupt president in the history of this country, coming out to say this nonsense. But that is Nigeria for, man for you. When he was the president of Nigeria, did you separate the looters from the hard working men? Rather, he was busy appointing his tribal men into position, and now he's making a statement of no value. Only God can save Nigeria from this mess by the wicked looters sleeping. And not waking up one day. Is it okay? Is it not a career? How many looters were jailed in your administration, my dear? It is a career line for them all. The most miserable and useless man to have forcefully ruled Nigeria is Buhari. He introduced snakes for laying money, rats breaking and eating a president's office, and monkey eating their money. In your government, as the father of looter, Tunba was able to buy himself into office as the president of Nigeria through. Rat breaking and eating president office and monkey eating jam money in your government. As the father of Luta, Turimbo was able to buy himself into office as president of Nigeria. Throw in a can judicial and you're here talking trash. I tell you. That is how it is supposed to, as in. The how, that is how it is supposed to be. Is, they're supposed to carry this man. This man is supposed to, as in this attack I'm not, as soon as supposed to be. I'm telling you coming out to tell us what during your tenure as the head of the country how many looters did you separate Boko Haram, kidnappers, terrorists are they not looters you were there for good 8 years and did not do that you were the highest looter Nigeria has blood of Nigerians are all over your body and your Fulani people you have created everlasting enemies between the indigenous people of Nigeria and your foreign Fulanese your kinsmen are the majority who consider listening as business. You don't even have the moral right to make such call. You're not even supposed to come and open your mouth talk about this issue. I did tell you. 
Did he do that during his tenure or he prioritized ethnicity and religion? It is easier said than done. You forced yourself into power and could not remove looters from your system. You are such a man that can never have my audience. You are such a man that can never have my audience. Go and manage your farm and family and leave Nigerians alone with the problems you created. Like I said, you get where this man will talk this thing, eh? Nigerians go rush and go bless him, then they knock him. Then they knock him two by two, recess in brain. I tell you. You harbored, you harbored more losers than any governments in the past. Every opportunity where you hand to change the narrative, but you simply refuse. Instead, you plunge Nigerians into more hardship. Please, who will explain to General Buhari that a leader who deliberately turned his face another side, why his kinsmen were kidnapping, maiming and wasting innocent citizens and demolishing communities is corruption personified? Okay, you defend Percy Begotella. Okay. 40 years ago, the youth has the belief that looting and defrauding the nation is the highest business in government. They will cut Nigerian cake in security. Okay. They will cut Nigerian kids in security can catch them in the world. That is their testimony. Okay, he's tired of sitting behind the fence. He wants to start his next field of political career of Godfatherism. He's coming out by commenting nonsense. Buhari Godfatherism. Who will we want Godfather? He never even fits to give rule in own safe way, not to Godfather person. I don't mean I don't make me laugh. We were expecting that from you, sir, when you were in office and you did not do that. Instead, they reversed the case. You didn't even call him, sir. This man has lost all the respect I have for him. I did tell you. How many were you able to separate in eight years in power? How many worked for you to be in power for eight years? Looting became a career under PDP and APC. Wicked man don't drop coats. You know see looters during your tenure. They say a wicked man don't drop coats. But you are innocent and free from looting after he ran the nation totally down. Like I said, if you're in other countries, this man for don't the for don't they go on fling them inside prison. We go do for the past we be say nobody be even they hear from him again. I tell you. But for this country we sabi do we sabi do she will we. Let us move ahead with the present administration. Leave General Muhammad Buhari alone. Focus on the present and not the past. Okay? I don't hear you. Oh, but looting is already a career by style. Why do you think some people join politics? They join politics so as to be able to loot and not to serve. Politics is a ministry of looting and embarrassment in this political dispensation. It is unfortunate that our future is in the hands of this type of people. Very unfortunate. All right, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for... Sitting in to listen so that I come here next time. Enjoy.